Hey guys, so Therapy and I are going to a park. I have a big piece of buffalo lung in my pocket and I didn't break it up. I just put the whole thing in a bag. And it was fine until I sat down, but whenever I sat down, it won't fit in my pocket all the way. Which is actually a great thing because y'all know how, um, I was telling y'all that my shorts that I had were way too big. Well, I ended up ordering my same shorts that I like in the size that I actually need, which is awesome. So now my shorts aren't way too big. And so my pants aren't falling down before I put stuff in the pockets, which is great, except for now I'm not used to having pockets that fit me. <laughs> so I'm like, oh wait, I can't fit. Like I actually have to break buffalo lung up now because used to my pants were so big that I could just, you know, fill the pockets full and it was fine. But anyway, um, so we're going to the park. I have really bad anxiety today. I don't even know how to describe it. I mean, it's anxiety. I don't know why I'm trying to describe it. You know what anxiety is. I wish I just didn't have anxiety about going places because I'm not going anywhere this scary, y'all. I'm going to the freaking park and to a grocery store because we have a few things we need at a grocery store. Like, it's, it's not anything scary. I would understand if I was going on like a cross-country trip or, you know, to even see people who I don't want to see or something, but I'm not going anywhere this scary. So, it's upsetting to me that I feel this way because I feel like it's dramatic. Fairby's Therapy's loving on me because she knows all. It's just upsetting to me because I feel like I'm dramatic and I can't help it, but it hinders like every part of my life. It's upsetting. I don't know. I feel like it's dramatic. I'm gonna be honest, but I can't help it. But then I also feel like if I feel like it's dramatic and it's happening to me and like I actually know what do other people think? And I know that other people's opinion of you is none of your business. Like, I totally do know that. But at the same time, I'm still a human. And I can say that's none of my business and, like, not let it affect me. But it's still, I know it looks like I'm basically a whiny little woman. I don't know. So, we're going to go to the park. We'll bring y'all with us. We're obviously going to go bring you to the grocery store with us, too. And then we'll, we'll show you what we do. <laughs> So it's super, super, super nice out today. Oh my gosh. I had no idea what the temperature was, but it feels amazing. It's like in the 60s. I think it said it was 60 degrees actually on the, um, on the temperature thing. We do have an air quality problem thing coming in a few hours though. It said starting from like one, I think. And it's like nine or so, 9.30 or so. Um, I think it's from the fires in the Northeast. Honestly, I'm trying to watch Farabee. I have her, y'all can't even see Farabee. I have her on her flexi because it's pretty cool, like I said, and um, whenever I realized that, I went back and grabbed it. And this park has a lot of clovers and paved area, so you can, I'm not gonna say you could definitely see every snake, but you can see stuff a lot better than, you know that one park we go to where it's like jungly looking? Here, I'll show you this one. Everything is like mowed and cut back, so I feel like it's easier for her to have a, um, you know, a flexi for this. What are you doing, good girl? Come on, let's go. so sandy right here because of um this is all sand don't go down there but this down here is a creek and you can actually walk down there if you wanted to not me and Fairby today but you can go down there but all of this is sand
So we're in Publix, and look how cute these baskets are. These are, I don't need, I mean, I don't really need to spend them, spend them on, but those are really cute. You're not really supposed to do that. You know that? Yeah, what are you going crazy about right now? They have these ones too. I don't know what we need any of those kinds. Hmm. Very nice, very cool. I really, really like these, and they have a bigger one too. That's only fifteen dollars. These are really cute. So we're in Publix and they're playing a newfound glory song and I've never felt older in my life. I let her work barefoot. I've I've learned over the years that she does work better barefoot. So if I can let her work barefoot, it's like way better to do that. There were kids being super, super loud about therapy. Like there was one family, it was a mom and like a, a buggy full of youngins. I don't know how many damn kids there were. So I was trying not to look, you know what I mean? And like add any extra attention and they were like yelling yelling doggy like every time we passed this so that was a little bit much but Fairby did fine Fairby turned her head really quick the first time they did it though which i don't blame her because that was extreme oh y'all hold on i need to see if i can turn my ear on for a minute i got some stuff to tell y'all y'all know how the other day i told you about the one PTSD symptom that I didn't know was PTSD related where I have like cold extremities basically. Okay, well, apparently that's the thing, whatever. And I even had some of my friends comment and were like, yeah, girl, that's the thing. It's like, okay, well, I didn't know because my doctor never told me. Yesterday I started thinking, I wonder if that also is why my toes feel numb. Like it feels sometimes like my toenails are so numb. Like it almost feels like my toenails are gonna pop off. That's how numb, they, that's the only way I can make it Pins and needles, I don't think it describes it. It just feels like all of a sudden my toes are so numb that like my toenails could literally just like be like shot off of there. And so I was wondering if that was anything to do with PTSD and it said it could be caused from either stress or anxiety and I can't remember which one, but basically, yeah. Apparently it's because it's neurological. I'm gonna try to find the article that I read and actually link it for y'all because what I'm telling you makes no sense. But apparently because it's neurological, like it causes things to fire wrong in your brain whenever you're in a mode of like fight or flight or whatever. So that totally explains why like all my neurons are just like about nothing <laughs> for no reason. I'll see if I can find the article and link it for y'all. Um, but now we're gonna go home. I just wanted to mention that because I know I'll, oh my goodness, is I know I'll forget. She has been the best girl today. show you every single thing because y'all don't care what I got. I mean, I know you don't care about my groceries really, but I did get these. So I got a, I got four of them because they were on sale, two for $5 and that's actually a really good deal. So I got lemon berry, I got golden pineapple. I've not ever had the lemon berry. I got watermelon wonder, which I've never had. And then I got strawberry serenity. So that's kind of my big like splurge thing, which I normally would not have got this many except for they were on sale. So it was a good deal. I got this cheese. I really like this one. This is just their original flavor. 
of it. I really like it a lot. And then I got hot dogs, which I haven't had hot dogs in probably over a year. So, and of course we got carrots. So I wanna show you all my shorts because I feel like it's hard to find shorts that I like and maybe it's that way for other people too. So these are the ones I got. Um, they are Union Bay, I'll link them below. I found them on Amazon. The time I originally bought them was at Kohl's. Dog cookie my pocket. But they just have like this kind of pocket. So it's like a, it has a button if you wanna do that. But they're definitely like decent pockets. And these, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a line right here. It's like a little seam on the pocket. And so everything like that is your whole entire pocket. So it's a pretty, I feel like decent sized pocket. They're just a little bit stretchy. So it makes it so they're comfortable, but they have them in a ton of colors. I'll link them for y'all. I just realized I did y'all dirty the other day whenever I got home from Target and I'm so sorry. I'm like, I'll show you the shirts I got. And then I didn't. It's kind of a weird angle, but you can see that it's just oversized and it's, you know, cropped-ish. So I have it in purple, black, and hot pink now. Thanks for hanging out with us today and going to the grocery store and to the park. So I hope you guys have an awesome week and we'll see you soon. Bye guys.